What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. Today we have something that I haven't done in a little while. Well, I've tried, but I just haven't done well enough to make a video. And that is going to one of the ponds nearby and trying to catch some bullheads. Usually these are pretty easy to catch, but the last few times I've been struggling to catch them. So who knows what today will turn out to be. I mean, conditions are not ideal, but they're doable. So we're going to go out there, a few rods, um, chuck out some cut bait, and see how we do. I will see you guys at the pond. Alright guys, just got here to the pond. I actually lied, conditions probably couldn't be much worse to be honest with you. I mean, it's really cloudy. I was actually getting hail smacked in my face on the way here. That's probably like 25 mile hour wind, so... You know, we picked a good day to go as usual, but we're already here, so we're going to try and catch some catfish so stay tuned guys to start off we're gonna chop up some pieces of this little crappie that i caught yesterday and throw them out on bottom rigs guys i chopped up that crappie threw out a piece and immediately this rod right behind me got smoked and i was frantically trying to get this tripod set up to show you guys but the rod was doubled over so i set the hook it's probably about a two pound bass not the target species but it was a fish it jumped off right by shore, otherwise I would have shown you. But we got our bait back out there. I'm going to get the tripod set up, and hopefully we catch something else. Look at this. I was walking around, seeing if fish were bedding. I believe this is called a kill deer, and it fell in the water. And this bass, I swear to you guys, it came up and crushed it. There's feathers everywhere. I'm not sure how he's doing. He was like floating belly up in the water, so I picked him up. I think we're gonna go uh, try and put him in the woods and see if he can make it. Guys, safe little spot here by this pine tree. I'm gonna set him on the ground and see what he does. He's kind of sitting there. I don't really know how well he's doing. He got hit, guys. He was sitting there and he fell in the water or something. And I swear to you, this bass came up. I mean, it wasn't a huge bass. It's probably like a three or four pounder. It was a pretty big one. And it came up and hit him. I'm not sure how he's doing. He was floating belly up in the water. He's still alive. I don't know. Probably just leave him. I'll come check on him in 15, 20 minutes and see if he's gone. All right, guys. Weather is getting pretty bad again. Storm cleared up for about an hour. Had the lines out for about an hour. Zero bites. Um took that bird over to the woods the Karens instantly fried me I'm like I'm just trying to get this bird to survive but you know who knows um, yeah it's pouring now hopefully I don't get struck by lightning I don't know how much longer I'm gonna survive but we'll try and I'll let you well it's really coming down I'll let you guys know if we get any bites oh my goodness guys I'm getting pelted by hail right now that just got really bad right there for a minute oh it kind of still is uh oh. Loki might have a bite on this rod. It went slack. Probably just from the 40 mile an hour wind gust. Uh, we're going to try and wait this out, guys. Not looking good. I'm getting pelted by hail right now, guys. I'm sure you can probably hear it hitting my jacket. Kind of painful. Rough day of fishing so far. Guys, I can't even face the other direction right now. I don't even know if you can hear me. This hail is size and the wind's blowing like 25 30 at my back so basically just have to face this way and hopefully it lets up all right guys i am back um after whatever that last attempt was terrible 40 mile an hour winds hailing in my face um so it's about two days later conditions are much better still a little bit cool upper 40s and we're fishing more prime time today we're fishing about the last hour and a half two hours I was thinking about going out and doing some bass fishing, but I was like, no, we're not letting these little pond bullheads get in the best of us. So I was like, we're going to go out, we're going to get one of these. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Going to go catch some fresh bluegill for bait. And thank you guys for sticking with me, and I'll see you there. All right, guys, first up is to catch some bait. I'm just using a little ball of bread weightless on this hook. Hopefully this doesn't take long so we can get to fishing. All right, guys, got a couple of gills for bait. Let's get them out there.
Can we get a bite, guys? Guys, we're getting bites on that taller middle rod right now. Oh. Fish on, guys. We got one. Feels like a catfish. Feels pretty decent. There it is, guys. That's a big old bullhead. I'm going to unhook him and give you guys a better look. All right, guys. There it is. That there, I believe. I mean, it's a bullhead, I know. I think it's a yellow bullhead, but that's a pretty good one, guys. We're gonna get him back and uh, toss the line back out there. Guys, we're getting close to sundown, and it looks like we just had it. Yeah, we got one on that last rod there, guys. I'm gonna go get him. Had a couple taps, and then it went slack. This one. Oh, he got off, guys. No. Guys, we hooked him, but he popped off the line. The rod was like doing some of this, and then it went real slack. So usually that's a good time to hit him. And I did, and I had him on there for about three, four seconds, and he popped off. So let's just get it back out there. Probably got about 15 more minutes. This should be prime time, guys. So. I'm excited. Hopefully we can get one. Oh, we're gonna bite, guys. We gotta bite on the far rod again. All right, guys, it should be on there. I'm gonna get him. Got him. We got him, guys. Alright guys, there's another bullhead, a little bit smaller, but still happy to get him after the struggle the other day. So we're going to get him back and end the night on this one. Going to keep the camera rolling in case either of these two rods get hit while I'm packing up. But if not, I'll see you guys back at the house. Alright guys, I'm back at the house. Um, not necessarily a huge success, but we did get two bullheads, which was the goal Felt good after the struggle on Sunday to go out and get some bullheads. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next. Please uh, go down there and hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. It really helps me out. Thank you all for watching. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you on the next one.